As we continue to look at journeying farther uh, into deep space, one of the more important things that's uh, going to have to be a reality for crews is to be able to grow their own foods. Well, the good news is uh, that's already actively happening on board the space station. The school district of Palm Beach County um, STEM department has partnered with the Fairchild Botanical Garden and NASA to bring that project alive to our students. We have a number of plants that we'd like to grow in space. We don't know which plants we would like the astronauts to grow in space and the students are going to grow a number of variety of plants. And so the kids are able to actually do live research with seeds that they then are developing the protocol for how these seeds could be grown on the International Space Station. And have astronauts grow them and eat them. And so what we've done is we've taken this network of schools, first in Miami-Dade, now we're, we're including Palm Beach, and we think it's going to grow pretty big in Palm Beach, uh, and to just have all these researchers in the classrooms to supply information. There's a project for everybody. I have planters, I have temperature takers, I have data entry, I have a publicist. Everybody has something they can do even if they're not interested in plants. With this program we've really utilized the four C's, uh, critical thinking, applying these concepts that we've learned in class, collaboration, we've worked with partners to accomplish the experiment. We used creativity so we were able to build a mini greenhouse in a small environment and like replicate uh, the environment on the International Space Station and then we used communication to record the data and then express it and send it to NASA. We select crops that have a very high edible um, proportion of their yield. Uh, this is called the, the harvest index, the proportion of the, the edible biomass to the total biomass. When we were introduced to this project, we said it's for NASA, it's for something actually important and relevant within what we're doing right now, so I think that's really cool. There's a lot of interest here. Through the Growing Beyond Earth project, students have the opportunity to help to solve a real-world problem that is going to further um, space travel. So we're really excited for our students to experience something that they can do hands-on to enhance our future.